Modern bulletproof vests save thousands of lives every year. Although a rifle shot may cause a few rib fractures, the vest will not allow the bullet to enter your body. How is a ceramic plate and a few Kevlar layers able to block a high-speed bullet? The duty of the ceramic plate in bulletproof vests is to reduce the speed of the bullet. Here we have two ceramic plates. The way it forms cracks after the bullet impact is different. Which ceramic plate will reduce the bullet speed to a maximum? The answer is one with conical cracks. Here, due to a high material crack volume, the material will absorb more energy from the bullet. Now the introduction of a super strong and lightweight material called Kevlar. The bullet which leaves the ceramic plate hits the first layer of Kevlar. The bullet's energy is so high here that the first layer of Kevlar fiber breaks. However, during this process, the speed of the bullet is reduced. After damaging a few more Kevlar layers, the speed of the bullet is greatly reduced and the remaining Kevlar layers block the bullet. Yes, our Kevlar-based vest has saved a life. The vest we just developed is known as hard body armor. Now, you might be wondering why we can't add a steel plate instead of ceramic. This looks like a super efficient design. The bullet isn't even penetrating. However, it can cause you blunt trauma, an injury where you look fine from the outside, but your internal organs are damaged. In the previous animation, we saw the bullet take some time before it came to a rest. However, in this steel plate case, the bullet was stopped almost instantly. This means the human body has to absorb all the energy of the bullet in a very short time span. This translates into a tremendous amount of force and the internal organs of the human body won't be able to withstand such a high intensity pressure. Another issue with steel body armor is bullet splash. This is why nowadays ceramic alloy based plates are preferred over the steel plates. Here, the human body is experiencing a much lower force since the whole process takes place during a longer time duration. With the help of an interesting cricket ball example, we can understand the difference between a steel plate and ceramic alloy based body armor in a better way. If you catch the ball with steady hands, you'll experience a good amount of pain. However, during the catch, if you move your hands down, you won't experience much pain at all. Here your hands absorb the energy of the ball in a longer time duration. A quick comparison between ceramic and steel plate based body armors is shown here. Now, let's learn something about bullets. A type of bullet called a hollow point is used to increase the wound area and its effectiveness. This bullet will expand its tip or the bullet will mushroom while it travels through the human body. The interesting thing is that if we make a simple vest just by adding a few layers of Kevlar, the vest will block hollow point bullets quite easily, especially when the bullet comes from a pistol. Here, the bullet tip gets flattened out due to the resistance of the Kevlar layers. This spreading out of the bullet tip reduces the pressure impact on the next Kevlar layers significantly. This kind of body armor is called soft body armor. If the shot is from a rifle, meaning the bullet is traveling at a very high speed, obviously you should go for hard body armor. Can you guess why the ceramic plate of hard body armor has many hexagonal cells? This is what would have happened if we had used a single solid ceramic plate in the bulletproof vests. The hexagonal cells allow for better multi-hit capability. If a bullet strikes one hexagonal tile and causes it to fracture, the adjacent tiles can still maintain their integrity and continue providing protection. The hexagonal cells also conform to the body's contour and provide flexibility during body movement. Now, let's time travel to the year 1972. What? This man is shooting at himself! This is Mr. Richard Devis, a former U.S. Marine. He's trying to prove to the crowd of Michigan that his newly developed Kevlar-based bulletproof vest is better than any other vest available at that time. The story of the invention of Kevlar-based vests goes like this. Richard Devis was shot twice by robbers while delivering pizzas. He wanted to gift the police a super strong bulletproof vest so that the robber's free run would come to an end. This is how Kevlar-based bulletproof vests were born. To demonstrate the sheer strength of his vest, Devis shot himself 190 times. Later, the National Institute of Justice officially approved this material for use in bulletproof vests. Now, 
the most interesting part of this video. How is such a flexible material like Kevlar able to provide superior strength? Generally, strong materials are never flexible. This super strong organic Kevlar material was developed by a woman, Stephanie Kwolek, in the DuPont laboratory. She was in fact developing a material to replace steel cord in tires. If you spin the Kevlar, which is initially in a crystalline liquid form, you'll see that it transforms into a thicker form. The reason? Formation of the hydrogen bonds. These hydrogen bonds are the reason why Kevlar is a super strong material. The modern Kevlar layers use a special kind of weave. This makes them even stronger. Using this interesting material for bulletproof vests was simply a genius idea. Three major qualities needed for a bulletproof vest are flexibility, resistance, and light weight. Kevlar-based bulletproof vests perfectly meet all these requirements. However, you'll be amazed to know that the quality of Kevlar fibers in bulletproof vests degrades with time. That's why it's advised to discontinue use after five years of their manufacturing. Now, let's see a real Kevlar layer. This is a single Kevlar layer. It looks like a paper, but it is extremely stiff and strong. Now, let's try to destroy the Kevlar sheets using a drilling machine. I applied all my force and you can see a small tiny scratch over here, a tiny hole, but absolutely nothing on the other side. These sheets are perfectly safe. Kevlar sheets do a job perfectly. NIJ4 body armors are the highest level of protection available to date, recognized by the NIJ authority. The minimum performance required for an NIJ4 armor is that it should be able to stop one round of 30 caliber armor piercing ammunition. The NIJ level 4 armors manufactured by Spartan Armor Systems consist of three layers. The purpose of the rubber layer is to distribute the force and also to keep the next ceramic plate in place. The ceramic plates used in NIJ4 armors are different. One good example is aluminum oxide composite plates which is well known for good energy dispersion and less backface deformation. Of course, backface deformation of the armor can cause you blunt trauma. The innermost layer is composed of ultra high molecular synthetic material, such as polyethylene or aramid, for example, Kevlar and Dyneema. These body armors are most often used by law enforcement and military service members. We should thank Stephanie Kwolak of DuPont for inventing a flexible and super strong material and Richard Devis for understanding its potential. Even though we use the name Kevlar, it should be noted that Kevlar is a trademark name of DuPont company for the aramid fiber they are manufacturing. Before leaving this video, please consider us to support on Patreon. Take care. Bye-bye.